I am so sorry. Singing server pulled the wool over all of our eyes. Oh, I, you've lost all your money. That's but okay. You have been the most amazing contestant ever. Give it up for Loretta. You will one day get your lolly land. I, will. I believe that in this universe, good things always happen. Always, always happen. I believe that too. Thank you. Thank you for your spirit. You're welcome. Thank you. I want to thank Cheryl Hines. I want to thank Nisi Nash, Adrian Houghton, Jay Farrow, and of course, the vivacious, the talented, the lovely Jordan Sparks. Thank you for watching. Good night. Wendy Williams, weekdays at 2 on Fox 18. This is your Fox Fastcast with Chief Meteorologist Andy McRae. A little breezy out there earlier today. The winds have died down a little bit. Temperatures are cooling down, too. We've gone from close to 70 into the middle 50s. We head for lows in the lower 40s later tonight. One of the coolest nights of the season so far tonight. A lot of the clouds have cleared out. Still a slim chance for a sprinkle or two, mainly north of the Quad Cities tonight. But that rain will not be a big deal at all. Not as windy tonight. A few clouds and then the winds do kick up again coming up a little bit on Thursday. More about that here in a few minutes on Fox 18 News at 9. Coming up, a setback for restaurants in Whiteside County. Well, restriction is coming back. How owners feel about the future of their business. And a bar in the district is preparing for its last weekend in business. Why the owner says it's time to call it quits. Fox 18 News at 9 starts right now. Live from the Local 4 News studios, this is Fox 18 News at 9 in High Definition. Good evening, everyone. I'm Jim Needle. And I'm Ann Sterling. Thanks for joining us for Fox 18 News at 9 o'clock. First on Fox tonight, new restrictions from the pandemic will go into effect this weekend for part of Illinois. The changes are for Region 1 and will be in place to try to stop COVID-19 from spreading. Whiteside County is in that region, and that is our top story at 9 o'clock. Illinois Governor J.B. Pritzker announcing restaurants will no longer be offering dine-in services. Again, this starts on Saturday. The changes are because of the increased numbers of COVID-19 cases. Fox 18's Carla Sosa talked with a business owner who credits community support for being able to survive the pandemic so far and hopes they will get through this new restriction. Michelle Burns is the co-owner of Smoked on 3rd Barbecue, Bristow and Catering in Sterling and says because of the community support, they've been able to make the most of a tough situation. I think frustration is the first thing that came to mind, but one of the things about living here in Sterling, Rock Falls area, is that we have a really strong community and our community supports us. While menu prices haven't gone up, co-owner John French says they've had to make other alterations. We have had to take some items off the menu that we can't get anymore. Um, and it's still a struggle every week trying to get the product in. Since they don't have outdoor seating and they can't have any customers in their dining room starting Saturday, they will continue offering curbside pickup. They're going to continue with curbside pickup. We're going to continue with our, our carry out to go business. Um, we do an enormous amount of catering. The Illinois Department of Public Health is monitoring positivity rates to determine if restrictions can be relaxed. Michelle hopes this new phase doesn't last too long. I just hope that we can move forward quickly, get the numbers under control, have the governor move us back to um, the phase that we are leaving. In Sterling, Carla Sosa, Fox 18 News. Restaurants in Whiteside County can offer outdoor seating through reservations, but must close by 11 p.m. Small businesses in downtown Davenport can get a boost. The city is launching a small business resiliency project. It will use around $900,000 in community block grant money to provide forgivable loans to small businesses. That money from the CARES Act is passed by Congress. The city will start taking those applications October 15th. Businesses can apply for up to $20,000. Now, those eligible businesses must be established in Davenport for at least a year before last March. Davenport's economic development manager says these loans could be a lifeline. We've been talking to a lot of both small businesses and large businesses. Um, we've seen a different story whether it be some of them are, are back at pre-pandemic levels, some of them are slowly building back up to that. I think a lot of that depends upon what type of business and traffic they have. 
The grant money can be used to pay mortgages, rent, utility bills, wages, and other operational expenses. One popular Rock Island bar is deciding to call it quits and is blaming violence in the district for the troubles. The owner of the country bar, Billy Bob, says 800 to 900 people come through the doors on a normal Saturday. Now he says he's lucky to get 10 since the recent deadly shooting. Fox News' Ryan Risky got an exclusive interview with the owner who says this might not be the last of the country bar. Businesses in the district have been dealing with hard times since the pandemic hit. But recent violence is adding insult to injury. There was last month's shooting that killed one person and left five hurt. And in June, innocent bystanders found themselves in harm's way, nearly run over by a man police call a fugitive. Crimes that cast the district in a bad light. Billy Bob's owner, Chris Michaels, says that it was impossible to recover from that. And along with that incident, I mean, we lost 94% of our business. Uh, we were doing 22 to 25,000 a week pre-COVID, and for the month of September, we've done 2,800. Michaels was forced to make some drastic cuts. Before COVID, we had almost 40 employees, and since that incident, I've had two work so far in the month of September. So cutting labor, cutting our DJ out, just having our computer play, uh, the music. The pandemic and violence didn't just impact his business, but also the community. We got to donate a lot of money. You know, we did Billy Bob's Gives Back every week. We were able to buy 95 kids at the Martin Luther King Jr. Center Christmas presents. We've uh, funded other great projects for other nonprofits here in town. Michael says that while they are closing down, we could see Billy Bob's look to reopen in another city down the road. But the question is when. What do I do? Do I wait a year or do I jump right in? It's a kind of a gamble, but I would like to see Billy Bob's move somewhere else in the Quad Cities so we can continue to have great live country bands and, and good times. In Rock Island, Ryan Risky, Fox 18 News. Billy Bob's last day in business will be this Saturday. Now the lease isn't up for another 17 months. Michael says he could reinvent that space until then. Now we turn the attention to the rest of the businesses in the district. With Billy Bob's announcement, Rock Island Mayor Mike Tome says he is concerned about a potential domino effect. The people that uh, solicit and come down to the, the district say, oh, there's one less bar down there. You know, there's just, I'm not going down there because I really like to go from one to the other. And so I am concerned about that causing some of the other people to leave. Uh, there was a good team, a core team of people down there. Those people down there were a long time worked well together, uh, have helped the city, and uh, we would not like to see the, that core group leave. Mayor Tom says the city plans to hold a special council meeting next week with the business owners. The conversation will be centered on what is next for the district. A lack of college students could be another factor hurting businesses in the district. It comes from Augustana College's coronavirus guidelines. Those guidelines call on students to avoid the district completely. Gan at Augustana College at an operational level two alert, and we are currently operating under that same alert level. To be proactive while in level two, we have implemented some level three COVID mitigation requirements, and we're hopeful our efforts will allow us to remain at a moderate alert level two, but we must also be prepared to change our operations as the situation requires. Meanwhile, court documents that were just unsealed reveal more about charges that the accused district shooter is facing. 42-year-old Dewan Berry is charged in four of the six shootings on August 29th. He is charged with first-degree murder and three counts of felony aggravated battery of a firearm. Jesse Brand Jr. was killed that night. Five others were hurt. Berry faces up to 45 years to life if convicted. His bond is set at $5 million. Local health officials are urging everyone to get a flu shot this year because unlike COVID, there is a vaccine for it. And that is why there was a drive through flu clinic in Milan today to help give more people access to getting a flu shot. Health officials say that COVID precautions, people are doing things like social distancing, washing hands and wearing masks could help make for a mild flu season. But getting your flu shot is just another way to protect yourself as much as possible. And for local health departments, offering this drive through vaccine could actually become more common once a COVID vaccine is approved. We are here to practice for what it's going to be like for a COVID vaccine because many of us, including me, are relatively new to public health. So, you know, we're really excited uh, to bring the public in so we know what, we, what, what to expect when we do have a COVID vaccine, hopefully in about a year. 
The Rock Island County Health Department will offer walk-in flu vaccine clinics in October and also in November. If you want to get a flu shot, we have all that information for you right there on our quadcities.com. Now, today's developments in the pandemic for the Quad Cities area. Scott County confirms 58 more people tested positive in the last 24 hours. That's now more than 3,100 cases for the county. Almost 2,300 people recovered. Iowa's positivity rate is 16.8%. Rock Island County reports 33 new cases. That's more than 3,100 cases overall. Illinois' positivity rate, 3.7%. Still ahead, finding solace during trying times. How local high school students are using music to stay involved with the community. And what the stream wheelers are planning after the uncertainty of 2020. That's coming up later in sports. You're watching Fox 18 News at 9. Fox 18 is first at 9 with Jim Needleman, Ann Sterling, Chief Meteorologist Andy McRae, and Sports Director Jay Kidwell. You're watching Fox 18 News at 9. Dr. Marionette Miller Meeks. What illness are you worried about striking Iowa next? I think viruses or bacterial infections that emerge from other uh, continents, other countries that we haven't seen before. That was me seven years ago. Healthcare is my profession and solving problems is my life. COVID's not going away. We need leaders who innovate, plan ahead, and get Iowans safely back to work. I'm Dr. Marionette Miller Meeks, and I approve this message. I may be a small marionette, but I am nobody's puppet. Oh, really? Because Marionette Miller Meeks has taken a whole lot of money from drug and insurance industries, over $300,000, and she sided with them. She supported a plan that lets insurers charge older Americans more for care. The AARP called it an age tax. She even supported raising the retirement age and ending the Medicare guarantee. Marionette Miller Meeks, the drug and insurance companies are pulling her strings. DCCC is responsible for the content of this advertising. Joni Ernst is an utter failure for Iowa seniors. Ernst supported a plan the Wall Street Journal said would essentially end Medicare and voted to eliminate protections for pre-existing conditions. She wanted to cut Social Security and squeeze us for 6,000 more a year. Ernst even voted to give trillions in tax giveaways to corporate special interest. Joni Ernst, milking Iowa seniors for everything they've got. DSCC is responsible for the content of this advertising. Put a workers' compensation law firm on your side. Watch Family Feud on Fox 18. Weekdays at 3 on Fox 18. Fox 18 News at 9. Quartet of local high schoolers is getting a chance to show off their skills on the big stage. Fox 18 photojournalist Mike Colon introduces us to the young women from Pleasant Valley and North Scott High Schools who will be part of the British invasion in Davenport next month. <laughs> On October 20th, on that Tuesday, we're going to be playing with the Beals vs. Stones, and we're going to be accompanying them while they're playing at the Adler Theater. So we're playing six different songs, mainly Hey Jude or uh, Eleanor Rigby. Hello, goodbye, yesterday. The director of our youth symphony contacted us, and asked some people if they would want to participate in it and he said that it would be a great opportunity for us to play in a quartet and have an experience playing some music for some people. I usually just play in orchestra. I've never really played in a quartet so I think this will be a really fun experience. And I just kind of fell in love. I loved, just love playing their music and singing it. It's a lot of fun. <laughs> oh definitely. With COVID going on this has been such a, it's been a light in the dark. I love that saying, Beatles versus Stones, a musical showdown will be performing at the Alder Theater on October 20th. The time is at 7.30. A light in the dark, Andy McRae. Let's talk about your weather forecast. We should probably listen to their music while you're giving us the forecast, uh, what? Very you know, calming. It sounded very good. Uh, more tunes, too. Yeah, I know. That'll be a great show, great thing to look forward to. I know they're looking forward to it. Well, some weather here. Hey, we've got a weekend not too far away. It'll be the first weekend in October. I'll let you know if the weather looks good for Saturday and Sunday here in a couple of minutes. Here are the numbers, the last numbers for the month of September on the end of the month. And I'll have a monthly.
hopefully summary for you here in just a couple of minutes. So a lot to get to when we come back and talk about your local pinpoint forecast on Fox 18 News at 9. Fox 18 News is brought to you by Green Family Hyundai. Nobody does football like FanDuel Sportsbook. It's a Thursday night showdown in New York. Get an exclusive odds boost on either team to win. Bet every snap of every game. And get your winnings at as little as 24 hours. There's always more ways to win on FanDuel Sportsbook. New users get exclusive 15 to 1 odds on Denver or New York. Bet 10 bucks to win 150. Army Rangers are taught to make tough decisions under pressure. That's why I picked up an enemy grenade and threw it away from my men and was awarded the Medal of Honor. America deserves strong, decisive leadership. For 40 years, Joe Biden has failed to meet that standard. He opposed taking out Osama bin Laden, and he's too silent as our cities and our nation's flag burn. Joe Biden is too weak to be our commander in chief. Reserve America PAC is responsible for the content of this advertising. Thought I got it. Really? Actually, do you have a quarter? <laughs> <laughs> Mix and match a McDouble or hot and spicy McChicken. Get two for just three dollars. Ba da ba ba ba. Joni Ernst is an utter failure for Iowa seniors. Ernst supported a plan the Wall Street Journal said would essentially end Medicare and voted to eliminate protections for pre existing conditions. She wanted to cut Social Security and squeeze us for 6000 more a year. Ernst even voted to give trillions in tax giveaways to corporate special interest. Joni Ernst, milking Iowa seniors for everything they've got. DSCC is responsible for the content of this advertising. You can't gamble with your family's health care, but Teresa Greenfield's roll of the dice on government-controlled health care could put employer-provided health insurance at risk. Greenfield's liberal plan could cost you your health insurance and raise taxes on Iowa workers more than $2,200 a year. Greenfield's health care scheme could also close 52 rural hospitals. For your family's health, liberal Teresa Greenfield is a bad bet for Iowa. Plainspack is responsible for the content of this advertising. And now, Chief Meteorologist Andy McCoy with a Fox 18 local pinpoint forecast. September stats. Here's how the ninth month of the year ended up weather-wise in the Quad Cities. Our average temperature, 64.6. A normal average in September, a little warmer than that, 65.4, so a little below normal. Rain was way above average, six and a half inches. Most of that fell in that one span of seven days when it rained a whole bunch, but that was way above, more than twice what we normally get in September. The warmest, it was 90, kind of hot on the second. Coldest or the coolest, 41. That was back on the 19th, so that's the coolest of the season. And so far tomorrow night, though, a lot of us do dip down into the 30s for lows. So as we get into the month of October, some chilly weather on the way. That includes the forecast for the weekend. Look at these highs Saturday and Sunday. And we do have the chance for a few showers Saturday, another chance for showers Sunday. These are the daytime highs, though, when the average high is still in the upper 60s and lower 70s. So even though it'll be early October this weekend, it'll feel a little more like mid to late October as temperatures are a lot cooler than normal here in the near future. All right, it was a pretty sunset out there. We had some clouds out there earlier. They cleared out for a little while. Still a few clouds going by. You can see what was left of the daylight there as the sun is now setting right around 645. Our Quad Cities cam as we go from Rock Island right on through the 8 o'clock hour, well into the 9 o'clock hour, and this is how it looks right now outside. A quiet night and a dry night and a little bit of a breezy night, but it's not as windy now as it was earlier today. The temperature at the airport is 54. The dew point's in the 30s, though. That's a good indication that our lows will be in the upper 30s and lower 40s around the area tonight. Right now, it's 53 in Davenport. It's been a little blustery today with gusty winds this evening, cooler than normal over the next few days. And Saturday's the best chance for rain, but there is a chance for a little bit of rain again on Sunday, too. High temperatures now compared to normal here were 
10 to 15 degrees below normal over the next few days. So again, as we get into October, it'll feel a little more like the second half of the month. Temperatures do bounce back, though. By this time next week, we're back up to around 70 which by then will be above normal with some sunshine. So we're, again, not to that point in the season where things go downhill and then they don't recover. There is still some pretty nice weather coming up as we get a little closer to the middle of the month of October. Tonight, the temperatures are in the 50s around the area. As you step out tomorrow morning, it will be cool. You'll feel that. Then we go from the 40s into the 50s, and a lot of us are heading for highs in the 60s tomorrow. Our winds right now, they're a lot lighter than they were earlier. We had sustained winds 20 and 25 miles per hour. Now the winds, again, way down there, almost calm. But we did have wind gusts earlier that were way up close to 50 miles per hour, but not a whole lot registering for the wind gusts tonight. Look at these numbers, though. It was a windy day. Davenport, a wind gust measured 48. Moline at the airport, 47. Clinton and Sterling, 44 miles per hour. So if you thought it was breezy out there earlier today, you were spot on. You were exactly right about that. That. Could be another sprinkle tonight. Rain, not a real big deal for now, though. Future cast shows tomorrow another chance for a couple of sprinkles out there. Kind of like what we had today, though. If we see anything tomorrow, it won't last long, and the rain will be very light. Tonight, partly cloudy, a little breezy still at, at times. Again, just not as windy as it was. 58 tomorrow, there'll be some sunshine. There'll be a few sprinkles. So upper 50s, close to 60 tomorrow. And then rain chances are here this weekend. And then look ahead to next week. Temperatures bouncing back pretty nicely. After those rain chances, we go sunshine, 60s, and we hit 70 next Wednesday. So a little cool, a little fall feel over the next couple of days. But next week, especially the second half of it, starting to look a little bit better. It's a roller coaster ride, Andy. Yeah, down for now. It'd be cool next couple of days. Thank you for the warning on the skirt alert today. <laughs> Appreciate it. Coming up next. Fighting against white supremacy. What some members of Congress are requesting after last night's presidential debate. And what changes are included in a new COVID relief proposal in the House of Representatives. You're watching Fox 18 News at 9. You are not. <laughs> With days at 11 on Fox 18. During the initial surge, I started doing some 12-hour shifts at the hospital to help out. Now I see Joni Ernst question the number of COVID fatalities. Senator Joni Ernst is suggesting the government statistics on COVID-19 cases and deaths have been inflated. Senator Ernst, these deaths are real. You're spreading lies that attack frontline healthcare workers like me. The fact you believe this shows just how much you've changed. SMP is responsible for the content of this ad. It's hard not to feel like things are spinning out of control. Looting of small businesses, rioting in the streets, cities burning. The angry mob is out of control, and Teresa Greenfield is their candidate. Her campaign is being bankrolled by the radical left. They want to defund the police and put us all at risk. Teresa Greenfield is too liberal. Greenfield won't protect our families and our neighborhood. NRSC is responsible for the content of this advertising. Marie Gleason's radical schemes would put Iowa underwater. Gleason wants to join the politicians in Des Moines who voted to add $2.6 billion to the state budget over the last six years. That would cost Iowa families over $800 a year. Gleason's radical one-size-fits-all health care plan would cost workers an additional $2,300 a year. Gleason even signed a pledge saying she would defund the police. Marie Gleason's dangerous schemes would sink Iowa. In Washington, it's one team pitted against another, bickering, fighting, and nothing gets done. When I grew up playing basketball, we learned about teamwork and respect, even if we were on different sides. So I'll work with anyone from either party and get things done. I'm Teresa Greenfield, and I approve this message because I don't care if it's a Republican idea or a Democratic idea, just if it's a good idea. Watching Fox 18 News at 9. Some federal lawmakers want the FBI to do more to fight white supremacists. It comes after President Trump failed to condemn a white nationalist group during last night's debate. Those calls for change are growing. Washington correspondent Trevor Shirley starts tonight's national headlines. Promise us and right like me to condemn white proud boys. Promise us and right proud proud boys. boys. Stand back and stand by. On Tuesday, President Trump refused to condemn the Proud Boys, a white nationalist hate group, according to the Southern Poverty Law Center. White nationalist groups 
uh, organizing, and we need to organize as well. And for the past several months, Illinois Democratic Representative Brad Schneider has pushed the FBI to create a special office dedicated to right-wing extremism. To monitor track and uh, ad address these groups. In September, FBI Director Christopher Wray told Congress racially motivated extremism made up the majority of domestic terrorism threats. Schneider's bill to create that new FBI office passed the House last week, but not without pushback from some Republicans. We've got a bill on domestic terrorism, but a bill that barely mentions Antifa. Ohio GOP Representative Jim Jordan says the bill ignores violence from the extreme left. The cold-blooded murder of a Trump supporter by an Antifa member, not mentioned in the resolution, not mentioned in the bill. Simon Clark studies white supremacy at the Center for American Progress. The white supremacist threat is a much greater threat of actual violence. FBI Director Ray said as much during his September testimony. We look at Antifa as more of an ideology or a movement than an organization. A similar bill is sponsored in the Senate by Illinois Democratic Senator Dick Durbin. Reporting in Washington, I'm Trevor Shirley. House Democrats are pushing another emergency COVID relief package. Congresswoman Sherry Busto says the $2.2 trillion package is a slimmed down version of the HEROES Act Democrats passed in May. It includes renewing the $600 federal unemployment payment, another round of $1,200 stimulus payments for most Americans, and $436 billion for state and local governments, among other provisions. Some Republicans say the bill has too much and is too expensive. Democrats want to get a deal done before the end of the week before starting a month-long recess. However, talks with Treasury Secretary Steve Mnuchin did not end with a deal today. The Senate goes into recess next Friday, but could return early to confirm the president's Supreme Court nominee. Still to come, a dirty job that someone really doesn't have to do. What has this man taking his garbage can on the go? You're watching Fox 18 News at 9. Fox 18 News is brought to you by Peterson Plumbing. Fix it with a phone call. Call Peterson Plumbing. Rita Hart looks like this. Higher taxes look like this. Rita Hart, higher taxes. Rita Hart, higher taxes. Notice a pattern. Hart voted for higher taxes on gas. Allowed higher taxes on cattle. Hart voted against middle-class tax cuts for Iowa families. She even opposed tax cuts that would have saved families $1,000 a year. Rita Liberal Hart. Rita Hart. Wherever she goes, higher taxes, higher taxes follow. Rita Congressional Rita Leadership higher Fund is responsible Rita for the content Hart. of this advertising. Get up and get going. It's time to get your fusion with a limited time offer. And well, let's just say more. Like Copilot 360, Bliss, Lane Keeping System, Pre-Collision Assist, Adaptive Cruise Control, Wi-Fi Hotspot, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto. Woo, that's a lot. What are you waiting for? Get to your Ford dealer today. Right now, get Fusion with 0% financing for 66 months, plus 3,000 cash back. Or lease one for just $1.99 a month. Hurry in. One nation under God, not in Kelsey Brackett's Iowa. Brackett is a left-wing socialist who wants to remove under God from the Pledge of Allegiance and in God we trust from U.S. currency. Why? Because Brackett thinks religion is, quote, and religious people don't understand science. Here at home, Brackett voted to allow property tax increases without public hearings, jacking up taxes, shutting out Iowa taxpayers, left-wing policies, and a godless nation. That's Kelsey Brackett's Iowa. Do you have an idea for an invention or new product? Do you think companies would be interested in your idea? Do you want to try to get a patent? Call InventHelp now for free information. Call 1-800-713-5920. Save during hy vs 90th anniversary. Earn a 90 cent hy vee fuel saver. When you spend $90, that's a 90 cent fuel saver. This Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. Only at hy vee Joni Ernst is an utter failure for Iowa seniors. Ernst supported a plan the Wall Street Journal said would essentially end Medicare and voted to eliminate protections for pre-existing conditions. She wanted to cut Social Security and squeeze us for 6,000 more a year. Ernst even voted to give trillions in tax giveaways to corporate special interest. Joni Ernst, milking Iowa seniors for everything they've got. DSCC is responsible for the content of this advertising. Why go anywhere but to the number one green Chevy? We have the Quad City's largest Chevy inventory with $25 million to lend. New Trax, 21% off MSRP. Buy for $18,097. New Equinox, 21% off MSRP. Buy for $22,425. 
And Silverado 1500 Crew Cab LT All-Star, 9500 off MSRP. Plus, we'll buy from you even if you don't buy from us. Why go anywhere but to the number one green Chevy? You gotta go to green, driving the Quad Cities for over 29 years. Gotta go to the green. Save during hy vs 90th anniversary. Earn a 90 cent hy vee fuel saver. When you spend $90, that's a 90 cent fuel saver. This Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. Only at hy vee Local news on your schedule. You're watching Fox 18 News at 9. A flash of light zooms across the sky over parts of Pennsylvania and Ohio. It's leading our video of the day. Here it is, a witness capturing the streak of light on video as it passed across Pennsylvania. The American Meteor Society says they received more than 200 calls about this light right here in the sky. An expert believes the flash may have been caused by a random meteor. A 28-year-old man in the UK sets the record for the world's fastest garbage bin using a motorbike engine and parts of a scooter. Andy Jennings snatching the Guinness World Record title after reaching 43 miles per hour on, yes, his garbage can. But wait, there's more. He's not the only one who broke a record in the past week. There's another man from the UK who broke a record after hitting almost 67 miles per hour on his custom-made electric wheelchair. There you go. Both participating in the Straight Liners Land Speed Record event. It's a true event. It happens in Northeast England. Still ahead, working for your safety. How the Iowa National Guard is helping with the COVID-19 battle. Plus, making career connections by car. What was offered during a drive through job fair today. You're watching Fox 18 News at 9. Joni Ernst is an utter failure for Iowa seniors. Ernst supported a plan the Wall Street Journal said would essentially end Medicare and voted to eliminate protections for pre-existing conditions. She wanted to cut Social Security and squeeze us for 6,000 more a year. Ernst even voted to give trillions in tax giveaways to corporate special interest. Joni Ernst, milking Iowa seniors for everything they've got. The SEC is responsible for the content of this advertising. Nancy Pelosi and liberal interest groups are lining up behind Teresa Greenfield. She's the candidate of D.C. liberals who support the Green New Deal, the socialist plan which would cause electric bills to skyrocket and raise gas prices to $13 a gallon. D.C. liberal groups have spent over $50 million to elect Teresa Greenfield because they know she's really one of them. Senate Leadership Fund is responsible for the content of this advertiser. The Honda Accord LX is in a class all by itself. It has upscale styling and standard Honda sensing to help improve awareness on the road. With more horsepower than the Nissan Altima S and more torque than the Toyota Camry L. Maybe that's why Car and Driver called it America's best midsize sedan. Now is a great time to get a great deal on the Accord. Contact your Honda dealer to learn more or shop online. Who's going to pay? The billionaires or you? That's the question on the ballot this November. After years of mismanagement and the impact of coronavirus, Illinois is in financial trouble. The billionaires are spending a fortune on ads to defeat the fair tax. They prefer to keep the burden on you. But the fair tax will change that, and 97% of Illinoisans will pay the same or less in taxes. Who's going to pay? The billionaires or you? Vote yes for fairness. Put a workers' compensation law firm on your side. Julia's first full hour of local news in prime time. The Fox 18 News at 9 continues with your Fox Fastcast. A little bit cool out there right now. Temperatures earlier were close to 70. Didn't feel quite that warm thanks to the wind. Well, the wind has died down, but the temperatures are going down. We're in the 50s right now. Very light rain today. A couple of sprinkles tonight, but most of... The area is drying out. Here's the Fox Fastcast for Wednesday night. It is not as windy as it was earlier. It'll be a chilly morning coming up. Then a few more clouds and sprinkles Thursday. We'll check out the weekend forecast in a couple of minutes right here on Fox 18 News at 9. Fox 18 News at 9 continues. Frontline workers are doing their part to make sure people are tested for the coronavirus. And Fox 18 News recognizes the dedication of nurses and the National Guard. Fox 18's Eric Zizich reports they've been working at the Test Iowa site at North Park Mall since April. 
Despite being on the front lines of the pandemic, a traveling nurse is passionate about serving. I love this. I love doing this. And it's kind of nice because I also like teaching. So it gives you a way to communicate with the public and answer any questions they have about COVID and quarantining. Reggie Jones is the team leader of the Test Iowa site at North Park Mall in Davenport. She's found that parents with kids in college are taking advantage of the free tests with a quick turnaround time. A lot of people that are scared but not so scared, but we see a lot of people that end up having kids coming home from college and then they have it. The Army National Guard is making sure nurses are safe to administer tests. Sergeant Jorge Montoya believes having testing readily available to the community is important. The more you know if you actually have it, I mean, this makes your community safer, I guess, just to, you know, avoid that prevention of spreading it more. As we're joining others to appreciate the heroic efforts of frontline workers, for them, that gratitude helps to keep their spirits up. It's really nice, especially when they thank us and thank us for what we're doing because it means that the community is a little concerned about what's going on out there and wanting to do their part. It's definitely a big motivation, I mean, for all of us. I mean, it just gives us that morale boost we need, I mean, to keep going. Eric Zizic, Fox 18 News. You can take advantage of the free test. We have that information for you at ourquadcities.com. Finding a job at any time can be hard. It's even harder, though, during the pandemic. One agency found a creative way today to help job hunters. Iowa Works in Davenport hosted a drive through job fair. Cars lined up and people took home bags full of information about current job listings. Iowa Works has more than 60 employers with more than 500 job opens. Uh, organizers hope this helps people find their next job. It gives folks an opportunity to find the, something that fits for them. And I think when you get in a job that you enjoy, you always do well. And so having so many employers reach out with positions makes it easier to find something that's a, a great fit. More drive through fairs are scheduled in the coming up weeks. The next one, in fact, will be at the Clinton location. October 14th is the date from 11 until 1. FEMA opened a disaster recovery center in Davenport to help people affected by the derecho. That's at the Annie Wittenmeyer Family Aquatic Center. It replaces one in Bendorf that closed yesterday. You can submit disaster assistance applications at the drive through location. A spokesperson says the goal is to support people who need more help. So we can help in, fill in some of the gaps if people don't have enough insurance or if they don't have insurance at all. If people have serious damage to their home, FEMA may be able to provide grant money to help people recover if they have needs not covered by insurance. The center is open Monday through Saturday from 9 to 6. It will close October 10th. More than $20 million in federal assistance has been approved so far for derecho survivors in Iowa. We have the website and phone number to get help for you online at ourquadcities.com. Walmart stores are getting a makeover, and that leads to tonight's Consumer Watch. The retail giant says its locations are being optimized with redesigned aisles and self-checkout kiosk. Walmart says it is redesigning stores to mirror its online shopping experience and to get more customers to download the app. The redesign will launch in 200 super centers by the end of the year. Nordstrom pledges to clear its racks of exotic animal skins by the end of 2021. The retail chain is teaming up with Humane Society. It will ban the sale of exotic animal skins and furs at all of its stores and online retailers. That includes any products made from lizards, snakes, stingrays, sharks, kangaroos, and more. However, Nordstrom says it will continue to sell clothes and accessories made from cows, calves, sheep, lamb, pigs, goats, and water buffalo. Nordstrom management says the ban comes in response to requests from customers. Chief Meteorologist Andy McCray now checks the weather with us. A cool night ahead for us, Andy. One of the coolest nights of the season so far coming up tonight. That's after a high of 68, so that wasn't too far away from the normal high for the end of September. And it gets even cooler tomorrow and tomorrow night, believe it or not. I'll tell you when temperatures rebound here in a couple of minutes on Fox 18 News at 9. Make a date with Mike and Molly. Tonight at 11 on Fox 18. Get up and get going. It's time to get your fusion with a limited time offer. And well, let's just say more. Like Copilot 360, Bliss, Lane Keeping System, Pre-Collision Assist, Adaptive Cruise Control, Wi-Fi Hotspot, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto. Woo, that's a lot. What are you waiting for? Get to your Ford dealer today. Right now, get Fusion with 0% financing for 66 months, plus 3,000 cash back. Or lease one for just $1.99 a month. Hurry in. 
Enhance the look of your home at Menards. Add a finishing touch to your home's exterior with Novick Stack Stone Polymer Panel. They're easy to install and require no mortar. All Novick Polymer Siding Panels are 11% off. Seal off any gaps and fill large areas quickly and permanently with fill and seal. Get a tube for only $1.99 after 11% rebate. Hurry in and get 11% off everything right now at Menards. Save big money at Menards. Nobody does football like FanDuel Sportsbook. It's a Thursday night showdown in New York. Get an exclusive odds boost on either team to win. Bet every snap of every game. And get your winnings at as little as 24 hours. There's always more ways to win on FanDuel Sportsbook. New users get exclusive 15 to 1 odds on Denver or New York. Bet 10 bucks to win 150. Blend something from the C that starts with the letter C. Calamari. <laughs> Family Feud. Weekdays at 3 on Fox 18. And now, Chief Meteorologist Andy McCray with a Fox 18 local pinpoint forecast. Wednesday night, so the weekend's not too far away. High temperatures are way below normal for this time of year. Early October it'll be by then. 57 for the high Saturday. Pretty good chance for a few showers then. Could be a few more showers on Sunday. By this time next week, though, temperatures are going back up and rebounding really pretty nicely. We'll get to that on the seven-day here in just a minute or two. Our Quad Cities Cam Rock Island. Well, it's not moving around quite as much as it was earlier today. We had winds gusting close to 50 miles per hour. So a lot of stuff kind of blowing around outside. A couple of garbage bins, maybe if it was garbage day in the neighborhood after they got picked up and emptied, these might have been kind of toppled over. In some places, there's still some debris, still some branches and stuff down from the derecho back in the first half of August. Some of those branches kind of blown around again today, too, in those winds. Well, it's a lot less windy now, really close to calm out there. Three miles per hour for the wind at the airport. 53 is the temperature right now when Davenport winds are eight miles per hour. 52 in Muscatine. It's 51 in Tipton tonight. And as skies have cleared out a little bit, these temperatures will continue to go down and down and down here tonight. By tomorrow morning, a lot of us are starting in the lower 40s. And Clinton will have a low of 43. Geneseo's 42. Same deal in the Quad Cities. 44 for the low in Galesburg. Tomorrow morning, as you step out, well, there'll still be a little bit of chill in the air if it's early. If it's at 7 a.m., 45, 9 a.m., at least it's up to 50 then. But if you're outside for a little bit of exercise or something early in the morning, a sweatshirt, probably a good idea as we start the month of October. In the afternoon, there could be a couple of sprinkles. There'll be some clouds and temperatures are only in the 50s tomorrow. Keep in mind, again, the normal high, that's around 70. About 15 minutes ago, we checked out the summary for September. We'll do that again later on Local 4 News at 10. And then tomorrow, we'll show you some of the October preview numbers for the climate stats here in the Quad Cities. I'll tell you now, though, these numbers are below average for the 1st of October. Midwest temperatures, a lot of 50s on the board. It's 60 in St. Louis, barely. That's the exact temperature right now. Notice still a little bit of rain off to the north. This is all fading away, but as it drifts down in our direction, could be a sprinkle tonight, could be another sprinkle or light shower tomorrow, but heavy rain, that's not in the forecast for now for the Quad Cities. Here's our future cast. There's those winds bringing down that cooler weather. And we have really a couple different pieces of energy set to come through the area. Here's one of them. It'll give us a few sprinkles on Thursday. Kind of in between Friday, mostly sunny for the majority of the day. And then here comes another piece of energy through the flow. And that'll give us more scattered showers as we get to Saturday. And then finally, all of this gets out of here. But it won't be Saturday. It won't be Saturday night. Probably won't be Sunday. It'll be Monday into Tuesday. So it is kind of a cloudy weekend coming up. Tonight, 42 for the low. And then tomorrow, a high of 58. It'll be mostly sunny, but could be a couple of sprinkles in the afternoon. Seven-day forecast now shows temperatures really bottoming out tomorrow night. 37 Friday morning. A week from today, though, sunny and back up to 70. Uh, what goes up must come down. All right, Andy, thanks. Coming up, what big changes are on the way for the Steam Wheelers and how things shook out for the Cubs, Cards, and Sox in their wild card games. Jay Kidwell has it all for you on Fox 18 News at 9. Two broke girls. A full hour tonight at 11.30 on Fox 18. Rita Hart looks like this. Higher taxes look like this. Rita Hart, higher taxes. Rita Hart, higher taxes. Notice a pattern. Hart voted for higher taxes on gas allowed higher taxes on cattle. Hart voted against middle-class tax cuts for Iowa families. She even opposed tax cuts that would have saved families 
a thousand dollars a year. Rita. Liberal Rita Hart. Wherever she goes, higher, higher taxes, taxes follow. Rita. Congressional Leadership higher Fund is responsible for Rita the content Hart. of this advertising. Powerful interests control so much of our state, but they should never control our courts. I'm Tom Kilbride. Big corporations have plenty of power, but farmers, families, consumers, and patients need their rights protected and equal justice under the law, too. I worked hard to reform our courts to make them more transparent and hold corrupt politicians accountable. I'm proud to have been endorsed by our police. Vote yes to retain Justice Tom Kilbride for integrity, independence, and fairness in our courts. Do you have an idea for an invention or new product? Do you think companies would be interested in your idea? Do you want to try to get a patent? Call InventHelp now for free information. Call 1-800-713-5920. Hi, I'm Iowa Senator Mark Lofgren. Small businesses are the backbone of our economy, providing the majority of our jobs. The COVID crisis has been especially hard for these local employers, and they need our support more than ever. I'll keep working to lower taxes, eliminate needless government red tape, and stop greedy trial attorneys from using the pandemic to file job-killing lawsuits so we can help our small businesses bounce back stronger than ever. I'm Senator Mark Lofgren, and I'm asking for your vote November 3rd. The smartest brands, our biggest savings, they've all come together for this. Friends and family pricing for everyone at Smart Automotive Group. Get it now on over 1,000 vehicles. Plus, only Smart Automotive Group gives you smart advantages, like a five-day exchange policy. And save more time and money before and after the sale with SmartCare. Plus, right now, 0% APR financing for 72 months with real zero money down deals. Making now the best time to buy. Visit us at Smart Automotive Group of Davenport, online at smartautoqc.com. Local sports with sports director Jay Kidwell. Busy day of baseball is the Cubs, Cardinals, and White Sox all in action today. Cubs and Cardinals played their first wild card game for the Cubs. It was another meeting with the Marlins. Last year, the Marlins lost 105 games. That was the most in the major leagues in 2019. But this is a new year. Win cranking at Wrigley Field like it was here. Fifth inning, 0-0. Zero, zero. Ian Happ says it's time to get a run, and he hits this one out to left. And the Cubs with a 1-0 lead. They had some fans there. They liked it. And, of course, the bullpen doing their thing. Cubs with the lead. Seventh inning, still 1-0, two on for Corey Dickerson. And he hits this one out to left center. It's a three-run homer for the Marlins. They had themselves a 3-1 lead. Still in the seventh, Jesus Aguilar. That's another home run. Miami wins this one 5-1. to one. Cubs have got to win two in a row, and that will start tomorrow. Game two at Wrigley at 1 o'clock. Cardinals and Padres out west. San Diego hosting a playoff game for the first time in 14 years. Well, it went south in a hurry for them. Paul Goldschmidt, two-run homer in the first inning, and it was 2-0 St. Louis. Two batters yet later, Yadier Molina with a base hit, and it was 3-0 Cardinals. They would score four times in the first inning. Ninth inning, it's 7-4. How about Harrison Bader with the finish? What a grab in right left center field. Cardinals win it 7-4. They lead the series one game to none. It's a best of three. You just need two wins. White Sox in A's. White Sox won game one. This is game two. White Sox could get the sweep of the Oakland A's, but Oakland had other ideas. First inning, bases loaded. Matt Olson to Nick Madrigal. He can't make the play. Two run score. Oakland up 2-0. Then in the second inning, Marcus Simeon. This is a hammer out to center field. It's a two-run homer. A's up 4 nothing. A's had a 5 nothing lead in the eighth inning. As Monty Grandal with a two-run homer out to right made it a 5-2 game. Then in the ninth, it was 5-3. Sox down two. Bases loaded. Two outs. Jose Abreu with the plate. It's a scorcher to second, but the A's get out of it. A's win at 5-3. Series tied up 1-1. And they will play game three tomorrow in Oakland. Still ahead, what's the new game plan for the Steam Wheelers off the field? Well, Dustin's got that story after this. You're watching Fox 18 News at 9. Tonight at 10.30 on Fox 18. 
Nancy Pelosi and liberal interest groups are lining up behind Teresa Greenfield. She's the candidate of D.C. liberals who support the Green New Deal, the socialist plan which would cause electric bills to skyrocket and raise gas prices to $13 a gallon. D.C. liberal groups have spent over $50 million to elect Teresa Greenfield because they know she's really one of them. Senate Leadership Fund is responsible for the content of this advertising. Yeah, I think we're good here. Why do we offer so many active safety features on our Chevy SUVs? Oh, yeah. All set. You ready, Freddy? Because we're not just engineers. Call us when you get there, okay? Slowly. I'm going slow. We have families, too. Get 15% of MSRP cash back on most 2020 Equinox models. That's over $5,700 cash back on this Equinox. Plus, current GM owners get an additional $750 cash allowance. Find new roads at your local Chevy dealer. Joni Ernst ran on her Iowa roots. She said she'd never move to Washington. But the first chance she got, she put down roots in Washington. And she fit right in. In January 2016, Ernst bought a luxury condo just steps from the Capitol. Shortly thereafter, it was discovered her campaign knowingly and illegally accepted thousands in prohibited campaign contributions. From the condo to the campaign contributions, Joni Ernst really did go to Washington after all. SMP is responsible for the content of this ad. Put a workers' compensation law firm on your side. Make a date with Mike and Molly. Tonight at 11 on Fox 18. Fox 18 Sports continues with Jay Kidwell. The Quad City Steam Wheelers, they are looking forward to getting back on the field next year and playing in front of their fans. Dustin Nolan tells us next season you have the chance to own a part of the team. The high-flying, fast-paced action of arena football will be back in the Quad Cities as the Steam Wheelers look to kick off their 2021 season after getting their 2020 season cut short. But we had a heck of a squad, and I think we were a championship contender. And losing that opportunity and not being able to show this community how good that team was going to be was very disappointing. On top of the disappointment of players not getting to hit the field, losing a whole season due to COVID-19 really hurt the Steam Wheelers financially. Going a whole year with no revenue uh, obviously is a challenge for us. And, uh, you know, we looked a couple different routes. We thought we were going to get something put together with the city of Moline uh, to help with, you know, small businesses like ours. And uh, that never did come through fruition. We were working with the mayor's office. That's when team owner Doug Bland teamed up with an old business partner, Sam Smith, to come up with a way to make sure the Steam Wheelers stay here in the Quad Cities by giving you, the fan, the chance to own part of the team. Because we recognize the opportunity, the interest that the community has in their local sports teams, their clubs, and uh, through this medium, it allows them to actually uh, be issued and have ownership in the team. This is a model much like what the Green Bay Packers have with their fans, something the Steam Wheelers hope will get fans more invested in the product on the field. I hate to uh, compare it to uh, a gambling, but at the same time, you know, when you've got cards on the table, it means a little bit more. So when you're really vested in part of the ownership group of a team, uh, there's no question who your favorite team is. If you're looking to buy some stock and become partial owner of the Steam Wheelers, well then, head over to their website, click on the pop-up, and it's that easy to become an owner of the Steam Wheelers. There's six different tiers. It, it can be as little as $125 to get involved, and um, I, I just think it's, it's a great thing for people to, to be a part of it and, and just ensure that we're going to be around for a long time. In Bettendorf, I'm Dustin Nolan, Local 4 Sports. All right, Dustin, thanks for that. Always love watching those steam wheelers play. And over to you. I just told you that, Jay. You did. I said I just missed the whole season, so thank goodness you introduced me to the steam wheelers. Next year. All right. We always have next year. Still to come. Chief Meteorologist is not waiting. Andy McRae is not waiting until next year. He's going to give you a look at tomorrow's forecast. Plus a wild encounter. What else besides a family of raccoons, a father and son came across? You're watching Fox 18 News at 9. Fox 18 News is brought to you by Green Chevrolet. Save during hy vs 90th anniversary. Earn a 90 cent hy V fuel saver. When you spend $90, that's a 90 cent fuel saver. This Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. Only at hy V.
Joni Ernst promised us she wouldn't change. I don't intend to go to Washington, D.C. and buy a big fancy house. But the moment she had the chance, Ernst bought a luxury D.C. condo. Then Ernst got caught taking thousands in illegal campaign contributions from corporate special interests, just like a typical Washington politician. And her campaign was forced to pay a record-breaking FEC fine. Joni Ernst has changed all right, and it isn't for the better. DSCC is responsible for the content of this advertising. Dr. Marionette Miller Meeks. What illness are you worried about striking Iowa next? I think viruses or bacterial infections that emerge from other uh, continents, other countries that we haven't seen before. That was me seven years ago. Healthcare is my profession, and solving problems is my life. COVID's not going away. We need leaders who innovate, plan ahead, and get Iowans safely back to work. I'm Dr. Marionette Miller Meeks, and I approve this message. Save during Hy-Vee's 90th anniversary. Earn a 90 cent Hy-Vee fuel saver. When you spend $90, that's a 90 cent fuel saver. This Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. Only at Hy-Vee. Do you have an idea for an invention or new product? Do you think companies would be interested in your idea? Do you want to try to get a patent? Call InventHelp now for free information. Call 1-800-713-5920. Here at Kimberly BMW of Davenport, this 228i X-Drive Grand Coupe is only $299 a month. This X3 X-Drive 30i is only $479 a month. Exclusively at Kimberly BMW of Davenport. Fall is here at the Green Thumbers, and it's time for our great fall clearance event. Save big on the Quad City's largest selection of trees, evergreen shrubs, and perennials. All 20 to 50% off. Enjoy savings of 25% off in our nursery, pottery fountains, bird baths, statuary, and more. Our Twisted Trunk Olive Oil Company offers 50 varieties of olive oils and balsamic vinegars. And Aroma Coffee and Cafe has incredible drinks, fresh sandwiches, and more. The Green Thumber's Great Fall Clearance Event, going on now at 3030 Brady, Davenport. Make cleanups quick and easy with big savings on Libman products at Menards. The Wonder Mop is tough on stubborn dirt and is just $6.99 each after 11% rebate. Morton Water Softeners eliminate hard water, giving you softer skin and cleaner clothes. Right now, get 11% off all water softeners. Stop waiting and start saving on everything you need at Menards. Save big money at Menards. Owning a BMW is more affordable than you think. This BMW certified 330i X-Drive Sport Wagon is just $419 a month. Or this X3 X-Drive 28i is only $374 a month. At Kimberly BMW Davenport. A little bit chilly late tonight, early Thursday morning. If you step out at 7 a.m., if you're up a little bit early, 45 at that point in time. We are up into the lower 50s and by 9 and 10. We're heading for a high only in the upper 50s. So that's below normal to start October. Could be a couple of sprinkles tomorrow afternoon. That rain really won't be a big deal. Not a huge deal over the weekend either, but we are looking at the chance for some additional showers, especially Saturday, then again Sunday. Highs in the 50s next few days, and for the first time this season, for a lot of us, lows in the upper 30s tomorrow night. Actually brought a light jacket to work tonight, Andy. A British zookeeper say they removed five parrots from public display after the birds spent their time in quarantine together and taunted each other their shout, profanities. That's first up in our Fox Social Buzz. So the park says the African gray parrots, here's the names, Eric, Jade, Elsie, Tyson, and Billy were given to the facility by five different owners in the same week. So the birds were put into quarantine altogether before going on display. Well, the time alone gave all those parrots time to teach one another their favorite swear words. <laughs> They're now separated. Zoo officials hope the time apart will give them an opportunity to clean up their language before, of course, returning to the public. I'm guessing a person taught them those words to begin with. A group of 14 raccoons get this emerge from their bushes to confront a father and son while on a walk with their dog. You can see them right there. It happened at San Francisco's Golden Gate State Park. Well, if that wasn't enough, they spotted something else two minutes later. It turned out to be a coyote. Dad says he wouldn't have been surprised if a unicorn popped out next. Now that would have been something. <laughs> Thanks for joining us tonight. Have a good night. See you tomorrow. Hi, I'm Tim Goodwin, candidate for Iowa Senate. My mom is my hero. Raising us by herself, she worked two and then three jobs seven days a week to make ends meet. And she never let us see the stress she was under. A lot of Southeast Iowa families are in the same spot today. 
The bureaucrats in Des Moines don't have the solutions for us. Our families deserve good paying jobs and great schools too. So we can make it a little bit easier for the heroes in each of our lives. Everyone loves a good snack, and we've got plenty to choose from at Blaine's Farm and Fleet. From classic candies and gummy go-tos to craveable chocolates and savory trail mixes, we're your snacking headquarters. Farm and Fleet California walnut halves or pieces are just $5.49. These Farm and Fleet select premium nuts and chocolates are just $4.99. Two-pound bags of Dodd's Homestyle Pretzels only $9.99. And don't miss our big snacking and candy events. Try free samples and get great deals on our sweet, salty, snackable selection. In these uncertain times, we count on our home to be our safe place. Burke Cleaners wants to help your family stay healthy. Our experienced crew will deep clean your comforters and bedspreads, package them up, and have them ready for you. We are making it easier on your wallet, too. 20% off comforters and bedspreads. Drop off at any Burke Cleaners location. Burke Cleaners, family owned and operated since 1946. Because Marionette Miller Meeks has taken a whole lot of money from drug and insurance industries, over $300,000, and she sided with them. She supported a plan that lets insurers charge older Americans more for care. The AARP called it an age tax. She even supported raising the retirement age and ending the Medicare guarantee. Marionette Miller Meeks, the drug and insurance companies are pulling her strings. DCCC is responsible for the content of this advertising. Courtesy Kia has been voted the best new car dealership now for 10 years in a row. We're the dealership of the decade. We're celebrating with some great leases. Drive Kia Soul or Seltos for just $149 a month. For just $179 a month, take home Nero or Sportage. The all-new Kia K5 is only $189 a month at courtesy. Or choose Sorrento for only $209 a month. Thanks, Squad Cities, for voting courtesy Kia, the best new car dealership for 10 years in a row. I'm Rita Hart, and I approve this message. I had breast cancer at age 39. The community was there for me. Rita was a big key to helping me through my cancer. That is the Iowa way. Marionette Miller Meeks would allow insurance companies to deny coverage to people with pre-existing conditions like mine. This would also take away coverage for over 100,000 Iowans. She would even make older Iowans pay more for it. Marionette Miller Meeks.